An emergency vaccination drive in the Democratic Republic of Congo after a measles outbreak in 2020. Efforts like this have saved millions of lives, says a study. Researchers looked at vaccination programs over the past two decades, targeting 10 infectious diseases across 112 low- and middle-income countries. They found that some 50 million lives, mostly those of children, had been saved by vaccines. They included diseases such as measles, hepatitis B, human papillomavirus or HPV and yellow fever. The research was led by the Vaccine Impact Modelling Consortium, funded by Gavi, the Vaccine Alliance and the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. If we continued with the vaccinations in our projections, so beyond 2019, um, we'd avert another 47 million deaths. So huge numbers. And really wanted what we wanted to kind of show in this paper is this is what we projected vaccination to look like before the COVID pandemic. And wanted to emphasize, you know, these long-term effects, these long-term benefits of vaccination going into the future. Immunisation programmes have added benefits beyond the prevention of specific diseases. For example, if people aren't getting sick of vaccine-preventable diseases, then that means there's less stress on healthcare due to those infections, which means you could potentially be treating people for other things. But the researchers warn that the COVID-19 pandemic has disrupted vaccination programmes and could lead to a decline in coverage. We've got not only um, healthcare services stretched by possibly treating um, people infected with COVID, we've also got people's personal choice. You know, they might put off um, going to seek an immunisation just because of fears surrounding being infected with COVID. The World Health Organization in April launched its Immunisation Agenda 2030 to try to get vaccine programmes back on track and reach even more people. It would mean reducing by half the children who are completely left out of essential vaccines, the zero dose children. It would mean, it would mean achieving another 500 introductions of new and underused vaccines in low and middle income countries. Scientists say the huge number of lives saved demonstrates the stunning advances of modern medicine and the importance of keeping other vaccine programmes on track despite the COVID pandemic. Henry Ridgewell for VOA News, London.